Hi, my name is Expresso from Team Liquid, and this is my basic champion guide to Tom Kench. Tom Kench is pretty good for solo queue. His laning isn't too great, so it's hard to punish enemy uh, laners, but he has a lot of playmaking potential with his ultimate, and as a champ of, of global, you can definitely make a lot of ganks happen and make a lot of plays happen. So he's definitely okay for solo queue. Not the greatest, but definitely not terrible either. For Tom Kench, because his W does a lot of damage to camps, uh, it's actually best to start on the red side because Gromp is a, uh, just easier since you're doing a, a single target damage. But if you are starting on the blue side, then you want to eat the big golem, hold onto it, and just start hitting the small one. Eat the golem immediately, spit it out immediately, and that way you can just start DPSing it, it down. So early on lane, it's actually very difficult for Tom Kench because you don't have a reliable way to proc your three stacks to eat them so it's hard to do damage that way and it's hard for you to engage on zone using your Q because you can't get a stun if you're starting off with your Q. Uh, very rarely do people let you walk up to them and just auto them for stacks so typically in lane you're just going to be sitting there just kind of farming can't do too much but with a jungler help you can probably just eat your jungler and then run at them super quickly and just do use your uses abilities creatively in such a manner otherwise it's very hard to uh, create kill opportunities alone. Tom Kench isn't too strong a laner, but because he can provide some peel, he is actually pretty good with champions that need to kite back. So Kog'Maw, for example, who typically doesn't have an escape, Tom Kench can provide one. Uh, very similar to Thresh, but slightly different. And if you're talking about team fights, then you have champions like a Swain or a Kennen who can really benefit from being in the center of the enemy team or even being eaten and still have the ultimate go off. Tom Kench in team fights is fairly decent. What you mainly want to do is use your W to either peel or to help your allies um, just ignore a target because you're n almost never going to get three sacks onto uh, enemy backline. It's very rare that you can actually eat the backline, so you generally want to eat the frontline, hold on to them, let your team do damage, and also because your ultimate isn't actually a damage ability, it's actually hard for Tom Kench to win in a standard fight five, and kind of relies on you. Uh, rotating around or like getting a flank on them or just eating your jungler and having him and you go behind them just something creative it's actually a little bit harder for team fights but the goal is to kill the front line so tom kench this is w can be used to go into lane or just go anywhere faster you can just eat your 80k and you can run back to lane just faster than you would normally our runes with tom kench are pretty simple he's pretty much a tank so you want to go for armor reds HP yellows, MR blues, and armor quints. You could get high repent instead for reds, but I prefer just going tanky, um, and I found that to be the most effective. You could also get some CDR and blues, that's, that's what some people do as well, but uh, a lot of armor, a lot of MR, that's what I go for. Masties for Tom Counter are pretty simple. Like any support nowadays, you just go 0 and 21, can't go wrong with that, and that's pretty much it. One thing to keep in mind is that swiftness in the defense tree actually helps out Tom Kench quite a bit as your devour uh, reduces your speed quite a bit. And using that, using swiftness, you can actually avoid a lot of the slows that you would often get slowed by. So skill order on Tom Kench. Level 1, you take W if you want to do a jungle camp because W does a lot of damage to jungle camps. Or you take uh, a Q if you're just going standard into laning and you don't need to do a camp or anything like that. Um, usually I go W just because you want to do a camp, uh, does, he does it really quickly. Level 2, you want to get Trevor, you didn't get the Q or the W. But you found, if you find that you're just getting poked out a lot, then you could just get a point to E just for a little bit of sustain and all in potential. And uh, level 3, you want to just, if you want to poke more, you should get Q. If not, then you get the point into E, and you max Q first, um, and you max W second. Q just has poke and has really short cooldown. W is pretty hard to land and it's preconditional, so I don't like maxing that one first. So Tom Kent, as a tank support, you go fairly standard tank items. Um, you want to start with the relic shield because he's melee. You can easily proc your uh, proc the little charges and rush types on as soon as you can. Moby boots are very useful as well for roaming and just. You want to get across the map, especially if you're ultimate, very useful for just traveling, getting ganks off. Afterwards, upgrading to a relic shield and targon is a good option. Or if you want to be more team oriented, 
getting a locket there instead. But either way, you do want a locket for your team, either yourself or somebody else can get it. But a locket is very important for for your team overall. After that, you can go for items like a Randuins if you want tankiness against uh, physical damage, or you can go for like a Banshees or whatnot, just tankiness against a different sort of damage. Thanks for watching this guide, and make sure to check out the rest of the stuff at lawclass.com.